everyone welcome back to my channel and welcome to another hair dye video today i will be dyeing my hair black again so for those of you who don't know my hair is always black i like to try out different dyes that help to maintain the blackest black color that i possibly can and my hair is looking a little off black and to some people it might not look like it but to me it's very obvious when my hair is not black because i have a dog who is black and i'll like put my hair up to her and see how it compares right now my hair is not looking nearly as dark as her is so that's how i know that it needs to be done again so the dye that i'm going to be trying out today is the garnier nutrice ultra color this is in the shade bl21 and a little backstory on this one if you guys had seen my previous video about black hair dyes i will link that in the eye for you to check out it's just essentially going over all of my favorite and least favorite black hair dyes that i had tried I said in it that I really don't like a blue undertone to my hair dye. Blue or green, I really didn't like because I had a really, really bad experience with Arctic Fox Transylvania, and I talk about that in the video, but essentially it stained everything. It stained my shower, my sheets, my towel, and it continued to bleed for a long time. And because it was kind of over my recently bleached hair, it just, I don't like the way that it looked being blue black. That color was just not for me. But upon doing some more research about why I didn't think my hair was nearly as dark as maybe some other people I would see where, you know, if I was in public, I would see somebody and think, wow, their hair is really dark and it looks darker to me than my hair looks. And I couldn't figure out why, but I think it is because of that blue undertone. I think the blue really helps to deepen it a lot more than just having a neutral undertone. It's just a really, really dark black but it does have that blue undertone in it. I am still learning. I said this in my previous video. I'm not a licensed cosmetologist. I'm not a hairstylist. I'm just somebody who likes to dye their hair at home. And there's so many people who are against box dye, but I'm never gonna lighten my hair again. My hair's always gonna be black. So I really don't care if I box dye it black because it's only ever gonna be black. If you have plans to lighten your hair and do a different color or maybe get highlights, maybe don't do box dye black, but because this is the shade I want my hair to be like forever, I don't personally see a problem with it. So that's just what I do. It's cheap, it's effective, and I like using it. Um, as far as Garnier goes, I said as, as an edit in my previous video that I wasn't going to use Garnier anymore because they weren't cruelty free, but they are cruelty free now. They are approved by Leaping Bunny, so we don't have to worry about that anymore. But use at your own discretion. I do believe that they're owned by L'Oreal, and the parent company, L'Oreal, is not cruelty free. I really don't look that deep into stuff like that. I don't know if I should, but I just don't. If that bothers you, maybe don't, but honestly, that's all I personally researched into it is that Garnier itself as a brand is not cruelty, is cruelty free now. Oh my God. That's just my personal understanding about the situation in my own research. And this is the one I'll be using today. It is the Garnier Nutrice Ultra Color. It says it's eight weeks of vibrant color and it's BL21. So that is what I will be popping on my hair today. This is what my hair currently looks like. I know the lighting is not too good here and I'm sorry if there's an echo. I thought it would be better up here than where I usually film downstairs, but I think it's worse. So sorry about that. This is just where I usually dye my hair. So in the box, what you get is you get this little squeezy tube. This is what makes dyeing your hair with box dye so easy. The little squeezy tube, because you can just like squeeze it all over your head. You don't even have to mix in a bowl or measure anything out because the perfect amount of developer for the color is already here. So you just take this color, put it inside the developer and shake it up. So I have the developer and of course this is the actual color. I don't know what this is. I think this must be with this whole new trees line, but it comes with oil. This little like, I don't know what this is. It's a little like vial of oil. Sorry if it's not focusing, but that's what that looks like. I forgot to mention it also comes with this after mask treatment. It's like a conditioner. Um, I hate all of the conditioners that come in boxes and stuff of dye just because it makes my hair feel terrible. So I will not be using that. I'll just be using my own things that I have. So I have my hair up. It's really weird doing a video dyeing my hair because I haven't done one in so long. The first one I ever did was actually my very first video that's on my channel and it's me dyeing my hair purple in my college dorm room. <laughs> So it's kind of crazy. I've dyed my hair purple again because it looked terrible. It started to like fade really poorly and I re-dyed it purple. So that was my first time dyeing my hair on film. 
And then I have another video. I'll link both of these videos in the eye if you want to check them out. But the last video I did dyeing my hair was with overtone. I was trying to dye my hair black again, just maintaining it. And I talk about overtone in my one of my least favorite videos personally. Hello. This is weird. So you have to like take this. This is the color now. You have to take this and then pop it by just screwing it on. Okay. So it should be, okay, perfect. It is ready to go. It's not, I'm taking this, putting it in here. Now I'm gonna try to put this, I don't know how I'm gonna, I think you just like snap it. Oh, okay, yeah, you just snap it. By the way, these are my own gloves. They do give you gloves in the box, but I hate them, so I just use my own. Definitely overdue having to do my hair again. But some people don't see the difference. Like literally my coworkers will be like, your hair is black. And I have to explain that no, it is not. This is not black to me. This is a dark brown. I need it to be black. And hopefully after I do this, it'll be back to exactly the way that I want. So essentially, I just take little sections. I just squirt it like on my hand and then go in my hair. Oh yeah, I'm supposed to do the, the roots first. Um, I almost never do that though, so. So essentially this is all that I do. I'm going to pop this on my hair and then I'll see you once this is all applied. So I just finished putting it on my head. This is what it looks like. I kind of just wrap it in a little bun on itself. I'm going to wait, I think it's a 25 minutes. I'll just double check, but I'll wait the amount of time it says, rinse it out, and then I will show you guys how it looks. I am back. I just washed my hair. This is what it looks like. Looks pretty much the same as what I'm used to seeing. Very, very, very minimal transfer to my towel. I have little hair towels that I put my hair up in after I wash them. Very, very, very minimal. Um, Dime. Let me go grab it so you can see. I have a tiny little bit of like a blue staining here, but it's nowhere near how bad Transylvania was. Like my whole towel was stained blue last time I did it. And this one's purple to begin with, so it might be a little bit more difficult to see, but it's really, really not that bad as far as staining like transfer goes. So I'm hoping I won't have any issues with the staining anything else, but I really doubt it considering it barely stained my towel. I'm not seeing any apparent like blueness to it when I was actually dying and I don't know if I still, I still have a little mark here from when I got some of the dye on my arm. Definitely is blue undertone, but you really can't tell in the hair. It just makes it look very, very deep and dark, um, at least so far. So all I've done, I've put it's a 10 in and then I just brushed through it. Now I'm gonna pop some Kenra blow dry spray and then dry my hair. I've been using this since I was in high school. I don't know when I found this. I think I was just like looking around at Ulta and I saw this and yeah, it just smells like my childhood home now because I used to use this when I would be getting ready for school in the morning and I know it's a really nostalgic scent, but I've been using this for years. I love it. It definitely shortens the time of blow drying your hair and it makes it smell good and it just looks super nice. So I love, the Kenra blow dry spray. This is what it looks like. This is the blow dry mist. I've gotten the mist and the spray. I don't really know if there's a difference, but I've used both. So that is my hair. I'm gonna quickly blow dry it. It's literally been like two minutes and my hair is almost completely dry. I'm just gonna do my bangs really quick with this little baby round brush. I'll try and link everything down below as far as products I'm using in case you're interested, but this is literally what I use every single time I do my hair. People might think that this is done, but I like to straighten my hair because especially with like short, well, this is short for me, but shorter blunt cut hair, it is just cut straight across to match my bangs. I like to make sure that my hair is straight. I don't like how when I just blow dry it, it kind of has like a little poofiness to it and like some static. Um, I used to blow out my hair when it was longer and I just had bangs because I kind of liked a little bit of curl to it. But now that I have my hair cut this way, I do like to straighten it 
literally every single day. Um, I don't have to straighten it every day, but I'll keep it straight, if that makes sense. Like once I straighten it, I won't have to straighten it again because my hair straightens and then just stays that way. I don't actually have to touch it up again if I put my hair up in like a scrunchie overnight. I'll just wake up, brush out my hair, and then it's still like basically pinned straight. The only thing I really have to touch up is my bangs, which sometimes I will blow dry just my bangs or I'll just use my little baby straightener. But I just wanted to give like a little, you know, how I do my hair just because this is a hair video, but I'm gonna straighten my hair really quick. This is the, what is this, Nano Titanium Babyliss Pro. Whenever I straighten my hair, I just, again, put it in like two pieces. I don't ever do more than two because I think that's unnecessary for my hair at least. So I just split it and then I'll go down only a couple times. It needs to be straightened completely. And I don't keep it too, too high. Right now it's on the setting 35, which I don't know how hot that actually is or like how much that translates to, but it can go up to 50. So I don't have it too, too high. I just don't want to char my hair, <laughs> but at the same time I want it to actually straighten it. So I am back from straightening my hair um, and I'm not really even sure if it looks dark on camera. I'm looking in the viewfinder and it kind of looks like brown. It literally looks like what it looked like when I started, but then when I'm looking at myself in the mirror, it looks really deep and dark. And I do see a little bit of that tiny little bit of a blue undertone to it. Nothing really serious that like you would think it's blue, but I definitely do see a little bit of that undertone. Um, and I think it looks really pretty. I like it a lot. Do I like it more than the Garnier Olia? I am not sure actually. It's really hard to tell because they are very similar. Um, if they wear anything the same, like if this one, the Nutrice, wears as well as the Olea. I definitely will like this one a lot. Um, I think it feels very moisturized. That oil definitely seemed to have made a difference, except I do have some staticiness going on, which is pretty standard. Every time I dye my hair, it dries it out so much that it statics either way. So it's not moisturized enough to take away the static, but it still feels really moisturized. It doesn't feel like I damaged it at all. It is so weird because like, it looks so much darker in the mirror than it does here. I don't know how I could better show you guys the color of it it doesn't even have the same undertone in video so it's very bizarre but i promise it is black and it does look different than when i started so i don't know really weird thing that my camera is not picking up on but i do like it i think it's really pretty but again i'll update you if there's any differences in the way it wears versus the garnier olia but that is it for today's video and i will see you guys in my next one bye You're like, I noticed. Yeah. Ew! She went to go pick her after I pulled the camera back. And I pulled her back because she was kind of already going a little bit too close anyways. Um, I guess it's like near the house. Disgusting. And I like played it off. But at one point at the very, very end, she's like, oh, she's just so adorable. So she went like that, like really quick on her head. But I forgot, I don't know if it was her booger hand or not. It might have been. She was half, she had a cigarette in one hand. Oh my god. So it must have been a booger hand. Disgusting. And so I used an average dog wipe on her head. Ugh. But I don't know if you're allowed to do that with those. Doesn't she have any? Ugh. No, I feel like I have to wipe my nose after that story.